Hey all, Mark from Lazarus Legal here. So today I've decided to enter into the world of vlogging and this is vlog number one, so please be patient and bear with me. Um, I'm not gonna be one of those lawyers that gets on here and tells you about the pros and cons of a shareholders agreement or why you need to protect your trademarks because let's face it, the law is freaking boring. But what I wanted to do today is get on here, tell you a little bit about me, my triumphs, my successes, my failures, and I wanted to hear from you. I wanted to talk to you, the audience, about your business, your failures, your successes, and what some of the legal requirements uh, that may come up in your business that you need to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis or monthly basis or whatever it may be. So. As some of you may know, um, in about April last year, I decided to move back to sunny Sydney, Australia from uh, the UK. Um, was that a difficult decision for me? Absolutely. I was working for one of the coolest FMCG brands on the planet. You can check out my LinkedIn if you wanna know which brand that was. And was it hard for my family? You can't even begin to imagine. Was it hard on my wife? You bet. Was it hard on my kids, settling them into schools? Uh, it was. Let's just say it was a pretty tough time. But I moved back for several reasons. I'm not gonna share all of them with you here today in this video, but one of the main reasons was because I wanted to build the Lazarus Legal brand. I wanted to do something for me and something that I could be proud of. So after working in this amazing FMCG brand, dealing with athletes, with brands, with sponsorship agreements, with events, with promotion endorsement agreements, with IP, I decided to bring back a bit of that flair, a bit of that hustle and put it into Lazarus Legal. And so over the past six to eight months, I've been working with startups, with SMEs, with FMCGs, with creatives in sport, in music, in entertainment, retail, fashion, leisure, and of course tech. And what I realized is that these startups, they're all going through uh, the, the, the idea itself, the risk, the, the pivots, the, the you know, taking, changing the trajectory of their business, the knockbacks, and those sudden changes that throw everything off course. And what it got me thinking, people, was basically, if you think about it, we are all living the life of a startup, each and every one of us. Yes, some of us don't like risk taking, some of us think that this is just a coined word startup and it's, you know, it's bigger than, than it's made out to be and you know nine out of ten startups fail and some everybody wants to be an entrepreneur but actually in my view we all are we all are living the life of a startup every day you get up you make decisions about what you're gonna do what you're gonna eat where you're gonna go who you're gonna call you're making decisions uh, taking risks should I should I should I go with my gut should I do this should I do that you're having you're, you're trying to reach out to a client and you're getting knocked back and you're taking risks every single day. So in my view, people, we are living a life of a startup. Each and every one of us is living the life of a startup. We are all facing risks and we are all facing setbacks. But what you really need to focus on, and, and in my view is one of the most important things, is to make sure that when you fail, you keep failing forward. I'm sure you've all heard that expression before, but I can't stress enough how important it is to just keep failing forward. And one of the things that gets me thinking is every single day you're gonna face challenges and it's how you deal with them. It's how you deal with that sudden big change in your life that is, what is what's gonna separate you from the pack. So as long as you stay in your lane, you keep focused and you just keep driving forward, inevitably you're gonna succeed. But when that big change of, of, of course happens or arises, make sure that you've got the support around you and you just keep pushing through it. So before I finish up, and I'm probably rambling a little bit, I wanted to share with you something very deep and very personal to me. About six months ago, I woke up one morning with a blocked ear and after several doctor's appointments, getting an MRI scan, I was diagnosed with something called an acoustic neuroma or scientifically it's called a vestibular schwannoma. And what it is, is basically it's a benign brain tumor that grows on the eighth cranial nerve. It connects your hearing and your balance. It affects your facial nerve. It affects your trigeminal nerve. It's a real big deal. If a tumor was, if it was anywhere else in your body, you'd go in, you'd get it taken out. But because you've got these vital nerves so close to your brain stem and you've got this little mass that's pushing against your brain, it can eventually kill you if you don't do something about it. So there are three treatment options. Number one, 
watch and wait and do absolutely nothing for six months to see whether it's grown. In some rare cases, it doesn't grow at all. Number two is invasive brain surgery. This is an eight hour plus operation with severe side effects afterwards, hearing loss, balance issues, chronic headache, you name it. And the third is something called uh, radio surgery, radiation treatment. And there are various different forms, including something called gamma knife, which is a precise beam of radiation targeted to the tumor, about 192 beams into the tumor. You have a frame bolted to your head. It's not very pretty at all. And there are some side effects as well. So about two weeks ago, I decided finally, after seeing several doctors in both the UK and Australia to go with my gut and I decided to have the gamma knife radiation. Was it difficult? Was it scary? Did I have a frame put on my head? It's taken me two weeks to post this video because last week my I didn't even look like me. I had pin sights, my face was swollen. Hopefully I've recovered now, but um, I feel great. And I will go for another MRI in three months and see where I go from here. But basically, hopefully that's the end of it and I'm back to normal. So what I wanted to end off with is life can change in an instant just hits you like that. One day you're absolutely fine and the next day you have some major event in your life. And this applies to startups, it applies to business, it applies to everything in your life. Business, personal, you name it, something's gonna happen. But it's how we deal with it. Am I gonna sit back? Am I gonna let this tumor defeat me? Hell no! I'm gonna get out there, I'm gonna smash it, I'm gonna just hit the freaking shit out of the park because that's what's, what it's all about, people. Staying in your lane, staying focused, getting the support you need and making sure that you just smash it out of the park. So I'm gonna leave you with one quote. Don't wait for something to happen to make something happen. And I, I, I find that something very, very important to me and it came to me the other day, quite late at night. I'm gonna repeat it again. Don't wait for something to happen to make something happen. Get out there and give it your best. So on that note, I'm gonna finish off. I've decided I'm gonna call this vlog Lazarus Real. I'm not gonna call it Lazarus Legal, I'm gonna call it Lazarus Legal, uh, Real. And the reason I'm gonna call it Lazarus Real is because I wanna get personal with you guys, with the audience. I wanna to talk to you about business, I wanna to talk to you about legal issues, I wanna to talk to you about acoustic neuromas if you want. Um, and I just wanna hear about your lives, your journeys, your struggles, and any legal or business issues you may have that you can tie into your life. I'm not gonna to talk to you about shareholders agreements or what a dragon tag is. I wanna find out about you, about real life circumstances and how you tie those issues into your life. So if you've liked what you've heard today, please uh, put, put your comments below. Uh, let's start a conversation. Let's have some fun with it. I've got some content that I wanna to start to post that I think is gonna be quite fun and engaging. And I just wanted to wish you all the most amazing day. Um, I'm happy, I'm ready to get out there. Hope you like this first, first vlog and I'll see you soon. But just remember, keep it real people. Thanks a lot, cheers.